to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three, three people on. Woo! Cowboy dance. Yeah. <laughs> back to the r 2 YouTube channel. <clears throat> My name is Trevor. We've got Adi, Riley, and Cohen all in the car. Yeah. But I wanted to show you guys some of this Kansas fog on the fields. Thing, is that a thing? That should be a thing. a fog-nado? Yeah, but you can go straight through <laughs> Just another beautiful morning here in Hutchison, Kansas. Gonna be kind of a, a little bit of a chillier morning today. 53 right now. Supposed to get up into the 70s, but not till like this afternoon. <clears throat> and here's how you work a roundabout. Yep, that's how you do it. You don't sit there and wait for five years. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys have roundabouts where you're at? Do you have a lot of them? I believe we've got two. We have 29. I think we only have two. No, I think we have 29. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's only two. <laughs> but look at some of that fog. We got, we got that one and the one on 23rd. That's there we go. Fog. fog on the field. Hey, look at those cooties. Cooties? There's cooties. There's cootie cows. Because they are Is that because they're cute cows? Is that what you mean? They're cuties? They're cutie cows? Yeah. Yep. yep. Alright, let's get to school. Alright, here we go. Jesus Calling Book. Wednesday, October 6th. Be willing to follow wherever I lead. Follow me wholeheartedly with glad anticipation, quickening your pace. Though you do not, don't know what lies ahead, I know, and that is enough. Some of my richest blessings are just around the bend, out of sight, but nonetheless very real. To receive these gifts, you must walk by faith, not by sight. This doesn't mean closing your eyes to what is around, what is all around you. It means subordinating the visible world to the invisible shepherd of your soul. Sometimes I leap you up a high mountain with only my hand to support you. The higher you climb, the more spectacular the view becomes. Also, the more neatly keen keenly keenly yeah keenly you sense your separation from the world with all its problems this frees you to experience exuberantly the joyous reality of my presence give yourself fully to these glory moments a wash in dazzling light i will eventually lead you down the mountain back into community with others let my light continue to shine within you as you walk among the people again. That's a good one. So you guys know how I showed you a fog this morning? Well, uh, yeah, this is, this is fog. So, we've got, we slowed down a lot. We've got our bottom LED light on and our fog lights on. That way, like, we could be seen, because that's a big deal in this stuff. You don't want to drive in this with no lights on, because then you're going to get rear-ended, or who knows what could happen. Somebody could pull out in front of you, because they don't see anybody. It's like we're driving into clouds. Hey, Vin. 
eventually here it'll clear up. <laughs> Shields even fogging over. I don't know if you guys can see the traffic coming across, but the lights are the first thing you get to see. So uh, I'm pretty pretty happy about having a nice light week this week. Even though we're there's still some stuff we we're gonna do and knock out and such. So yeah, you know, today's kind of one of those days, guys. There's some cows. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is here at the Arctic Vet Channel. Nothing scripted. I just go about our day. Put little clips here and there in here. Share it with y'all. Somebody's pulling our next house. The boys and I have decided we're going to live in an RV. That's right. They want to live in an RV. So I told them if we could find some land and build a shop big enough to put an RV in. Oh, a little camper, I mean like that, like a little RV camper. Then, we'll buy one of those too, park it inside and call it home. <laughs> well, don't get too excited here. This isn't gonna be something happening within the next year or two, maybe, you know? God is amazing, he might, he might just bless us that much that we're like, well, guess what guys? We're doing it. I don't I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, but that's a far sight in the future. 
which that future could be literally tomorrow and that's okay but I'm more worried about today and picking these little guys up seeing how their day went and getting them to the Y to have some more fun at the pool man it's 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 a good time it's a good time and we are gonna be kind of up towards the front today Woo! that's exciting because usually usually I'm back where that oh you guys probably can't see it I'm usually back where that like white car is back there like way back there in my mirror on that bend yeah anyways we're gonna live in one of those one day one day it's gonna be so cool it's gonna be so cool I don't know I don't know if you guys know but Granger Smith and his family he's a country singer he's a Yee Yee Nation Earl Dibbles Jr man they're maybe you know them they all had that they, they lived in a camper RV for for I want to say it was just a, a year or so but they did it inside of a shop while their house was being built the only difference is that I would not be building a house unless that house was technically like being built inside the shop because I, I, I have this crazy idea and I'm gonna tell you and somebody else has probably come up with it already done it or is going to do it now <laughs> before I can and that's okay but I want to take one of those like the wick buildings a Morton building I'm trying to think of what else they're called just one of those big metal shops and I, I would like to make it like 80 80 by 120 I'm massive right like huge but on the inside what I want to do is do like a log cabin house on the inside of that shop and I, it would just it'd be immaculate it would be amazing because I love log cabin houses but I like the simple look on the outside of just a bit of just oh it's just a shop it's just somebody's barn no man that's my house <laughs> that's what I'm talking about <laughs> but you know one day we'll get there maybe if I can figure out minecraft enough maybe I'll build one on minecraft like lay it out and then share it with you guys and then uh, how do you put car lifts in minecraft how do you put cars in Minecraft? Ah, oh, crap. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, real simple video today. Thank you all for sticking around. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, click that red subscribe button. And ask your friends to also subscribe. Please, please, please ask your friends to subscribe. Because right now my circle is very limited and I am trying to reach out into your circle and into your friends' circle. So what that means is I'm my circle, I've hit my limits on them. And now I need to expand to your circle and reach your friends. And then eventually I'm going to need to meet your friends' friends and be in their circle. Networking, that's how it works. So, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And if you have sent a friend, if you are a friend of a friend that has been sent here, thank you. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Arctic Vet family. We'll catch you guys tomorrow in another daily Arctic Vet vlog. Tomorrow shouldn't be so uh, boring. Boring. It's, it's kind of a not real eventful day, and that's okay. So, stay tuned. We'll catch you tomorrow. Have a great day, great afternoon, great evening, great week. We'll catch you Thursday, tomorrow. God bless y'all.